Hello and welcome to the video. This is the last in a series of four videos which is addressing MYP design and we're focusing on Criterion A. And these videos are designed for students who wish to get top marks when they're doing their MYP design report. Uh, and the emphasis for this video is how to get eight, a score of eight for strand four. So let's begin with by reading the, the assessment criteria. So for you to get a score of eight, it says here you need to develop a detailed design brief which summarizes the analysis of relevant research. So some of the key words I've highlighted, highlighted there in pink. It needs to be a detailed design brief. Uh, and it needs to, you also need to have some evidence that you've done some research and that you've analyzed and summarized this research. Okay, a few more details. So how to, how to begin this, first of all, I'd suggest that you go back and have a look at your uh, research plan, which was strand two. So when you're looking at, when we, we did strand two, we made a research plan. We came up with a bunch of research topics. And we also wrote some very good research questions using command terms. We also prioritized the research. So focus on the research questions, which you deemed as a high priority and research there. Now, for you, when, when you're doing your research, basically you need to um, talk about, in your report, you need to say, I conducted some research. Tell the reader whether it's primary or secondary research. So I conducted some primary research. So this is where you can cite the source as well. So whether it was a video or a book, um, or it was an interview with somebody. So make it really clear that you conducted this research and then you present the findings. Now you don't need to do a big in-depth research report because to get top marks, it talks about summarizing your research. So this is where bullet points come in handy or even things like concept maps. So take, some, take, some, take a source of information and highlight some of the key parts. Now, you should do this for a bunch of your research questions and you need to, for, to, for you to get top marks, you need to basically provide evidence that you've conducted research and you've got your information from a variety of sources. You can't just, uh, you can't get top marks if you've only used one source of information. So this is where you demonstrate that you're a good researcher. So I'd be aiming at somewhere between uh, a part one or two pages, A4 pages uh, of research. Because remember, it's just finding some key information from a variety of sources and summarizing it. Now, for you to get top marks, one of the key words here is the analysis of research as well. So if you're just uh, sharing some key facts, you're not really analyzing it. So this is where something like a conclusion would come in handy. So after conducting your research and sharing the key points, just do, um, this is where you need to demonstrate some higher level thinking and share what your thoughts were about the research. Compare different uh, points of view. Um, uh, give examples of certain things. So this is demonstrating to the reader that you've taken some research, but you're also thinking about it. You're analyzing it, analyzing some of the strengths or the weaknesses of that kind of that information. Uh, now, to conclude, what is really important is that you create yourself a design brief. So for the design brief, now this is really important with your with, with regard to the overall document in Criterion A. If you don't have a design brief. I think the maximum score is about two or three that you can get. So this is really, really important. Now there's, a, there's an art to creating a good design brief. And I've listed a couple of bullet points here to help you. Uh, so first of all, make sure your information is presented concisely. So you only need a paragraph or maybe two, but we don't want a lot of information. It needs to be concise. Uh, also, now, way back in strand one, there was some kind of a problem that we were researching. Here is where we re revisit that problem. So within your design brief, you should make mention to the problem that you're addressing. And, and, and this design brief basically is how you are addressing that problem from strand one. Next thing, you need to link it to some kind of research. So for strand four, you've already conducted this research. So you've got all the, the information that you've, you've found from your research and you've cited uh, the source uh, uh, on, the, on the document as well. You've also written some conclusion which demonstrates that you're analyzing the research. So if you can somehow link this research to design brief as well, you're on track for top marks. So the, the concept of linking it to research, rather than just inventing some information or imagining some information from the top of your head for your design brief, if you're linking it to research, 
it's a far stronger uh, design brief. Uh, next thing, uh, we, while well, we're talking about strand one, uh, you should, I've already mentioned that you need to address the problem, but you also need to talk about the target audience of the client. So when we were in strand one, we talked about stakeholders. So they should be mentioned in this design brief. So here's how to start your design brief. I will design or I will create a, now what is it? What are you actually making? Put it in plain uh, English so everyone could, anyone who reads your design brief, they know what you're actually making. Who are you making this thing for? That's the next part of this opening six starts. So I will design and create a blah, 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 and it is for, uh, and then mention the stakeholder, or stakeholders, uh, or the client or the target audience. So that's your opening sentence. Now, you need to tell me why. What, why are you actually making this? And the answer is basically that you're gonna be addressing the problem that was that you identified in strand one. Then the next thing, uh, where is it actually gonna be when you make your thing, your product? Where will the world see it? Where will your friends see it? Where will, will your teachers and peers more importantly, the stakeholders. Will it be delivered to their house? Will it be on display at school? Will it be online somewhere? So you need to talk about where it will be installed or presented. Uh, and then the last thing is a when. So some mention to time. It will be completed and finished and presented to the client by the end of December. This kind of thing. Some reference to time as well. Now also you can throw in a little bit more contextual uh, information if you need to uh, add some meaning and if your design brief isn't making sense if a, if a third party if a friend someone reads your design design brief and they don't really know what you're doing uh, you might need to provide a few more words a little bit more information some contextual information so that anyone can you read your design brief and that they understand what you're making why you're making it when you're going to make it how you uh, 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 yeah, that, that kind of thing who why, where, what, when. Okay, well, to conclude, I'm just gonna have a look at the assessment criteria in greater detail. So basically, for you to get top marks, we've already talked about having a detailed design brief which summarizes the, anal uh, uh, the analysis of research. Now, you'll only get a score of one or two if you have a basic design brief. If your design brief is a little bit more complicated, a little bit has a bit more information and it's better than a basic design brief, you can get a score of three to six. But if it is a detailed design brief, so the emphasis is on detailed, so just add a few words, lots of words, and make it a detailed design brief. So if you've got your detailed design brief, you can get seven or eight. Now, the second part of the assessment criteria, when you're conducting your research, if you just state some findings, you're only gonna get a score of two. But if you can outline your, uh, your research finding, outline the analysis of the research, you can get a score of three or four. But if you explain the research, uh, you can get a much higher mark and you'll get a score of five or six. But if you want a score of seven or eight, you need to summarize the analysis of a relevant research. Okay, so the last there is this the difference between uh, what we're basically aiming for. So when you're creating your strand three, we're moving from a basic design brief and we want a detailed design brief. Now the research, we need to dig a bit deeper and analyze your research uh, but, um, and that's how you'll get top marks for Criterion A strand 4. Good luck.